Warning, the warning has been removed from this highly educational and experimental video. And if you're wondering about my big viral video, which was double demonetized by Wondrous YouTube and used by Google as an ad for their own purposes that I wasn't paid for, yes, it is still demonetized. I will not give up on this until it has been resolved. Ooh, I'd say that's body body time. Good night, sister, little beetle. Sorry about that, boys and girls, but spiders gotta eat. Okay, there's Mrs. Cow, uh, the garden sculpture that the redback spiders love to live inside. I've just noticed uh, there is some down lines there from the redback spider. You can see them coming down to the ground in that fashion that they always do. I've got a cat whisker here, and I'm going to try and tease the redback spider out by exciting the down lines and see if I can get her to come out. It is night time. Uh, maybe it's best if I don't say anything in case spiders have ears. And I'll see if I can tease this spider. Uh, down to where I'm exciting it with the whisker because uh, I'm really uh, eager to try and fool these spiders into thinking there's a little meal to be had. Uh, often you can tell the size of the spider by the structure and scale of its webwork. These spiders are extremely wary, very timid spiders. Very tricky to fool. And I've really just done this as a rough shot, uh, very rough shot video just to try and uh, try the whisker method with redbacks because uh, I know it works with black house spiders um, once you get a certain technique up. Okay, I've got success here. The spider is appearing. And it's just started back up inside there. <laughs> I was about to give up. I thought this isn't going to work. Um, I'm just doing this as a very rough version. It's a shot of my iPhone. And it's actually quite a large female. How did this spider get in here? I've been looking in here a lot. It must have been up there reclused. It's exciting fishing for these things. It's a... Uh, man, it is tricky to pull off. So um, working at night is an advantage I feel because the spider is a lot more aware at night time. That's its, um, its natural time to um, capture things in the web. Mind you, I have seen them take a feed during the day. It really depends on how hungry they are. I'm just um, tugging quite fiercely now, so it's either going to frighten the spider thinking um, this isn't natural or it's going to think that whatever is in the web is going to get away and I have seen it where if they feel something's getting out of the web they'll really go for it so I'm just going to do some major pulling here it might work better if I come out much later at night but I mean I don't really want to be out here in the middle of the night playing with spider webs and redback spiders I'm just doing vibrations like this uh, see if I can see this boost again and definitely do not try this unless you're prepared uh, and understand how these uh, critters operate because she can come oh okay oh okay yeah I've got a I've got the um I've seen the size of her she's a fair sized female and I know what to do here if I twist like this I twist the fingers like this she'll come out okay okay she hasn't quite come down to the whiskey yet but I certainly know I'm learning what she likes. Let's see if I can get another starring appearance from her. But my very special twisting method. And she come, when she comes down, man, she, she comes down fast. And that's the way they work. Uh, if they're eager for a feed, and this one looks like it might be. She will come down quickly. I don't want her to be on my fingers because she may misinterpret me as her next little thing to eat. Oh, now I've dropped the whisker into the zone there. I'm losing drop down lines. That's the problem. When you start losing all the drop down lines, I start to lose the ability to uh, trick the spider because it's the drop down lines that they, they react on. Hello, Fluffy. Goodbye, Fluffy. 
I've actually um, lost all the lines because I've been fiddling and diddling a little bit too frantically. And um, what I will do is I know the spot is here. I'll come back and I'll use the tuning fork method and try that. And I've got no idea how the spider got in there because I've been keeping a very close eye on Mrs. Cow. I'll just carefully look up inside Mrs. Cow here. This is the problem with these metal uh, garden ornaments. They just basically become spider lairs. Okay, you want to look up inside there or put your hand up inside there to see what's in there? But the chances of seeing Mrs. Redback is going to be fairly slim because... Um, oh man, there is a good... Oh, wow, there's a lot of web work up there. Now there she is, I can see her, uh, she's right up, right up inside at the top of uh, Mrs. Cow. I'm very surprised uh, she's up there, I'm actually just looking for a male spider. Oh, I haven't really got the time to have a good search now, but man, she has been busy in there. And because I know she's here, I will come back and try the tuning fork method. This is really just a very, very rough experiment uh, to see if the cat whisker could lure the redback spider and it feels like it has worked. It was a YouTuber that suggested a musical tuning fork and I will set Mrs. Cow up exactly where I want Mrs. Cow to be and the Redback Spider will come along and uh, put her down lines here, maybe later on tonight. They like doing that very late at night and she will set up again so anything that comes along here will get caught in the web and then it basically goes up there to die. Yes, they uh, work in very evil ways. I'm actually surprised to find a red back inside Mrs. Cow. Uh, at least there's no egg sacs yet. Uh, we are right on the cusp of the next spider season. Maybe that spider has come in from another ornament in the backyard. They must get around when they're a bit bigger. It's a bit too big to be drifted in the wind, I think. That's the way the little ones get about. This is the other major spider zone, and at the moment, uh, I'm really not seeing the web uh, like the red backs do. But we are just on the brink of the big spider season time and who knows in another month's time it might be a totally different picture of what's going on down here this is the next night the redback spider has not set up its down lines again and i'm a bit perplexed by that mind you uh, we are in the time of year when these spiders are semi reclused and what i do notice on the ground here look at that there that is exactly what these spiders would key into and eat. It's a little beetle and they love to eat things like that. Since she was such a good girl last night, let's give Mrs. Spider a bit of a treat, hey? What do you think? There she is up in her webby lair and if I put that poor harmless beetle in there, oh yes, yes, yes. Um, that redback spider can get a wonderful feed. Oh, bring it on, I say, bring it on. These spiders are masterful in the way that they use their web and wrap things up which are quite powerful those beetles are the perfect meal for these spiders so often when i've had the redback spiders in the backyard it's those beetle carcasses that you'll see underneath the web there i just love looking at these spiders and the way they work i really learned a lot about these spiders when i did my redback spider study uh, but it seems that youtube is really really struggling with those videos and as for the age of that spider i would say this I believe it would have been a spiderling back uh, early uh, last summer. So uh, maybe it's coming up to being a year old, maybe in a, a month or so. Or maybe two months. That's what I'm, that's my feeling about that. It's a young and they get uh, bigger than that. But it's certainly a beautiful specimen. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh, I'd say that's body body time. Good night, sister little beetle. Sorry about that, boys and girls, but spiders got to eat. What an absolutely wondrous uh, winter treat, I can tell you. Uh, mind you, the spider season isn't that far away. And from what I can see, uh, she was getting ready, hey? She was definitely getting ready, but she had not dropped down any more down lines in the next night, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, she's uh, she was reclusing, but certainly getting ready for some... Uh, who needs a spider tank uh, when you've got Mrs. Cow as like the perfect uh, redback spider receptacle, hey? Look at her working there. Just isn't she a wonder of nature? Totally adapted for killing. I love it. And the most amazing thing about these small spiders, they are small spiders, they can really overpower uh, much larger and more powerful critters than what they are. 
It's that web, man. That web is super dangerous. You know, I've always said the, the most dangerous part of Redback Spider is the web that they produce. And they've got some very specialized web. I don't think that beetle is feeling the best. And the spider will uh, leave the beetle for a bit and then come back down and do some more work. Yeah, so I'm sort of wondering uh, how long will it be till she has egg sacs? Now, I can't see a male spider in here, mind you. These spiders don't need males all the time to reproduce. So we won't get too heavily into that. Because this is Kitty's YouTube, you know. But um, because I know their life cycle and how long it takes the egg sacs to hatch, I can certainly control them uh, and stop them from breeding up into huge numbers. Understanding their uh, little life cycle is, I think, one of the best defenses against these spiders. Once you start to understand how they breed and how long it takes an egg sac to hatch, well, then you can have some sort of uh, control over their numbers, I hope. That's a theory I've got, but it's yet to be fully proven. Well, she's done the main binding and biting that needs to be done to the beetle. It'll take a little while for it to pass away. And then she'll come and feed on it. It'll be a wonderful meal. And she's just probably repairing her web there, making sure it is prim and proper for the next catch. Mind you, that catch was very much uh, aided and assisted by me. And her little eyes are glowing at me. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't she a stunner? In fact, she came right up to the edge of Mrs. Cow there. She's probably wondering why her house is upside down. And she's darted back over there, just a reminder how fast these spiders can move. Anyway, I'll let her um, do what she has to do in there. Yes, uh, quite a wondrous display. Maybe Mrs. Cow is Spider Tank 2.0. Uh, don't bank on Spider Tank 2.0 because uh, the Redback Spider videos have caused so much trouble on my channel. It's not funny. And uh, Mrs. Cow was just about there. And she always got that lovely nodding head. Something I always love looking at. Oh yeah, there's Mrs. Cow the next morning. The beautiful winter morning sun. Yes, I said winter. We've had some very low temperatures this winter. We've also had frosty lawns. Oh, I love it. And iced up cars. How chilly is that? And finding redback spiders in the middle of winter can be very elusive. But I've always got something by my side that can warm up Mrs. Redback Spider's day. There is that idea to keep your friends close and to keep your enemies even closer. Don't worry boys and girls, that was purely a warning shot. Just while we're thinking about Redback Spiders hiding away in Winter Wonderland mode, I went to a children's party that was at a school and I noticed something that nobody else there could see and I said to some people there, I said, where the little five-year-old children sit down and have their lunch is a redback spider infested area. Some of the people at the party looked at me in disbelief, so I set about proving my point and boy oh boy did they change their tune once I started to show them what I was finding underneath these seats. Ah yes, seeing is believing, and then the people who doubted me started to ask me, well what do we do? How do we stop these spiders from living underneath the seats where the little children eat their lunch? And to answer that simply, uh, well there really is no simple answer. It's a very complex question, it's a very complex problem to resolve for the long term. Apart from this school having a complex redback spider problem, for me, making a video like this and producing it for YouTube will cause more problems and trouble on my channel. So often these styles of videos get flagged. If I win an appeal, they will then get double flagged. So it seems, unless you're Brave Wilderness or Monster Bug Wars or some of the few other elite critter channels, well, I'm totally wasting my time producing content like this for YouTube. At the moment, this video is on hold. But I tell you what, what I reported back to the school uh, was a huge, huge wake-up call to them because nobody could see the Redback Spider problem that was going on where those little children so often sit. So what have we learnt in seeing that? Well, number one, if you have a fear of spiders or don't like spiders, well, maybe Australia isn't the best place for you. And number two, if you invite someone like me to a children's party, well, expect me to find some redback spiders.